Ik heb uh, telefoon voor je. Echt? Ja. Good morning. Mooi, hello Finn. Uh, it's James Oliver Phelps here. So you might know us <laughs> Fred and George Weasley in the Harry Potter movies. We have a surprise for you and we heard that you're a great fan. Yes. So we're going to stop by Q Music today at around 9.30 in an hour or so. So we'll meet you there in an hour. Ja, voor de duidelijkheid mocht je oh, het er wel meekrijgen. Ja, aan de telefoon hebben we hier de Weasley Brothers. Het zijn oh James God. en Oliver Phelps. Ja, het is de... Fred, uh, George, ja, Die zijn hier over een uh, uurtje. Hey, Jij mag ze gaan interviewen. So, James and Oliver, welcome. I'm very excited you guys are here because you guys played Fred and George. Uh, what was your favorite thing about your characters? I liked it that we were given pretty much full range to do what we wanted because we played the pranksters like the class clowns. If we wanted to mess around a bit, we were allowed to because we could just say we're method acting. Even just different stuff like dyeing our hair for so long. What did your mom think of your red hair and eyebrows? She was, she was fine with it actually. She said it actually suited us. Really? I yeah. think she was just being nice now. Oh, they look great. My mum thinks I'm pretty. I think we should have come over for King's Day with our ginger hair. You know? Oh, you would have blended in just well. fine. Yeah. Um, the fourth book was my favourite. Mine is in five parts now because I've read it so many times. Oh, uh, but which one of the books was your favourite? Probably the third one, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Why? Because that was the book I was reading when we got cast. Also, so it's a special it's meaning for you. Special. Okay, and for you? Goblet of Fire. Yeah, yeah cause it was, I think cause it was one of the first big books I'd ever finished and felt really happy about completing. <laughs> and as I say, going back to the characters, you know, friend George had the, the gambling side of it going on. Yeah, stuff and that's your good. part became bigger. Yeah. You guys will be at the exposition in Utrecht. Mm -hmm. Could you guys tell me a little bit about what we can find there? Yeah, so the exhibition is um, a lot of, pro of costumes and props from the from the movies Harry's wand uh, the Marauder's map you can see Voldemort's you know the costumes for that uh, there's so like thousands of items there and are there any things you can do because I've heard that you can get sorted by the hat yeah. into yeah. the different houses so we got sorted Oliver got sorted into Gryffindor yeah which is really handy because I've got all the outfit already, so <laughs> I've got the scarf whereas I got sorted into Hufflepuff oh really so that was it oh okay so why was that I'm a nice Person. Some of our listeners also um, posted some questions for me to ask you guys, so I have a few. This one is from Adam and he said that there is a story going around that you guys have played each other's roles while filming and that you got caught and then the scenes needed to be yeah, redone. I, we've read that. Is it's, it true? No, it's completely. It's like, not true? We, uh, I remember reading once that we got caught and they had to refilm the whole first film. Yeah. I think I'd have been fired if that happened, so <laughs> I'm glad uh, to say that never happened. Sebastian is asking, is there going to be another Harry Potter movie? Uh, I probably won't be in it if it is, because things have happened. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Fred dies. Spoiler. Yeah. yeah. Eventually. <laughs> for everybody who didn't do it yet, I'm so sorry. But it sucked for me. That's <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, but it must have been so weird to leave the set afterwards. or Kind of. Um, I think luckily it was towards the end of the last movie, so mm -hmm. it wasn't like I was missing out on so much Anything, going on anymore. Yeah. But it, it was a surreal day, that's for sure. Last but not least, very important question. Have you already got someone to show you around, or is there no time? We've got we've got, we've got a couple of hours free to go and okay. explore around. I've, so I we've been here a few times before, so we know what we want to check out. And, and what did you want to check out here? In Utrecht. <laughs> Utrecht. <laughs> Utrecht. Yeah, it's difficult. Um, I don't think you need to do the action when you do it. Yeah, yeah that. Um, I really want to climb the, the huge tower that's the there. dome. The dome, yeah. So uh, that should be quite. Well, fun. I'm very athletic. Okay. And free this weekend, so okay. <laughs> just <laughs> say it. Eyes, just yeah. say it. Well, thank you guys so much. I really enjoyed having you guys here, and um, I'm looking forward to go to the exhibition. Thank Fantastic. You very much. Oh, jongens, het zit erop. Ik vond het zo mega leuk. Niet normaal, echt. Uh, ik ben er gewoon nog een beetje aan bij komen. Ik vond het zo spannend, maar het ging volgens mij best wel goed. Ik uh, ben stiekem een klein beetje verliefd, en dan vooral op George. Had ik dus niet verwacht hè, dat er toch nog zo'n verschil in kan zitten. Maar het kan dus blijkbaar echt. Matty, super bedankt voor deze mega leuke verrassing. Het was echt een van de leukste vrijdagen die ik ooit heb gehad. Je bent een schatje.